EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for April 4th, 2023. It is Tuesday. The Tuesday video forecast is proudly sponsored by J. Evans Property Services, serving York, Lancaster, Chester, Berks, Lebanon, and Southern Dolphin counties in Pennsylvania and is also in Northern Maryland. J. Evans Property Services is a family owned business that offers quality work at competitive prices and features premium landscaping and design, sod install, drainage solutions, as well as residential and commercial complete property maintenance. They still have 15% off any landscape install or mulching when scheduled now through the middle of this month, the 15th of this month, as well as 15% off any spring cleanups or tree trimming. They still have their price match guarantee on any landscaping or lawn care, lawn care project contracts when they give a quote now through the end of this month. For the upcoming 2023 season, it will guarantee no price increase for two years. You can reach out to them at the phone number of Bumby here in the video or schedule an estimate through their website, landscapingcontractorslancasterpa.com. They are J. Evans Property Services, proud sponsors of the Tuesday video forecast. That's a uh, big thing right now with landscaping because we're getting into spring. And obviously, things are growing again, and this is the time you need to start uh, booking that kind of thing. So today, we're going to have a mixture of clouds and sun. It's going to be very warm across the region. Temperatures in the 70s in most places. I have 67 to 74 as a spread, but it's a little deceiving. I think most areas are going to be 70 to 74-ish. When you get down uh, in our far southeastern parts of New Jersey, I think you're stuck in the upper 60s today uh, because you have a southerly wind flow off the bay. The bay is still very cold. So, uh, you know, the southern, it's going to look a little weird on the... Uh, uh, the daily regional forecast update, the daily weather in under 45 seconds that Jim Rinaldi does, uh, you'll see that the southeastern areas are cooler because of that. You have that uh, uh, you know, feed coming off of the, uh, the, the colder bay waters of Delaware Bay and uh, the Atlantic uh, Ocean waters there are pretty cold yet. So it's going to have some influence with that southerly winds that expected today. But a mix of clouds and sun uh, elsewhere, times of clouds and sun, I'll say. Those times will be a little bit more cloudy than sunny and other times more sunny than cloudy. Uh, but we will be very warm today in the 70s across most interior locations. As we move this forward, uh, the no precipitation, though, expected today or tonight. And uh, we're going to remain on the milder side of average overnight quite a bit. So we're not going to get below 50 anywhere uh, across the region. It doesn't look like it's going to stay kind of mild overnight. And then Wednesday is going to turn out mostly cloudy. Uh, and uh, we're going to have a, a little few showers in the vicinity of Cross Arbor Bay, the mainly northern interior areas, uh, later in the afternoon. And also uh, going into the evening hours, it'll spread a little bit further east. So you could have a few showers, not really too much here uh, with this prefrontal activity. And then the cold front itself is going to move through here on Thursday with scattered showers and thunderstorms. And yes, there could be some severe weather with this. Now that we have the short range stuff getting in, into in a range, uh, we can take a better look at model soundings and a little more realistic with what we're looking at. And there is an indication that it could be some strong gusty winds with some of these storms if they can become a little bit more potent here on Thursday. And timing, of course, is going to play a role in that too. But it's only going to be for parts of the region, it looks like. And so we'll get to that in a second. But that's the cold front. And unfortunately... It's going to have to be, it's coming in during the afternoon and early evening. So guess what? Philly's home opener is at 3 o'clock on uh, 305 on, on Thursday, or it's a scheduled start. So we might be dodging some storms, uh, maybe not that early. We'll see. We'll see what the timing is of that. But it's going to be kind of uh, interfering with maybe part of the game. Not a cancellation type thing, but maybe a delay involved with that. We'll see. Uh, see how that works out. Uh, here's a look at Wednesday, though. I do want to get to the temperatures. You see probably the spread 52 to 78. That's a considerable spread in temperatures across our region, which is the eastern two-thirds of Pennsylvania, all of the northern part of Maryland, all of New Jersey, and all of Delaware. And it's because we have a backdoor front working through here uh, on Wednesday. See that front right there? That separates lower 50s right here in northern New Jersey and upper 70s down here in south central Pennsylvania. So it's a considerable difference with that front in place. And where this boundary sets up is going to make a difference. And it's, you know, especially these marginal areas really close. So it could be something like, let me get rid of this. You know, see, it shows in, uh, you know, by Morristown, New Jersey, you're, you're at uh, 52, 53, 54-ish. And you go not too far to the southwest across Bucks County and the Lehigh Valley. Uh, and actually, Lehigh Valley might be split between 70 in the southwestern parts of the Lehigh Valley and the northeastern parts of the Lehigh Valley in the lower 60s. It can happen. You're gonna, it depends where that boundary sets up. And right now, it's kind of want to set up right like this. So because of that, we have a considerable spread in temperatures here on Wednesday with those generally cloudy skies expected across the region. And that's because we have, uh, if you go back to Wednesday here, 
uh, when this is moving in. This is uh, Wednesday right here. Uh, so when you move into the afternoon, you have a little bit of a boundary that kind of goes like this, right? And it's cutting across like that. So these areas in the northeastern areas along that boundary are going to be colder and you have warmer of course, on this side of the boundary. That's all there is to it. So it's going to be a very tricky forecast to get the exact locations right with temperatures here on Wednesday. Just one of those things, right? Uh, as we move ahead to the uh, NAM now, I want to show you Wednesday. Uh, we do have some showers across our northern regions. This is uh, Wednesday at 2 o'clock. You can find the follow timestamp at the upper right-hand corner as I move this forward. 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday, moving this forward. Generally, mainly north of uh, I-78, you see a few showers during the afternoon and then in the evening you get a few spotty showers um you know a little bit more inclusive of more of the area and that's going to go up through about midnight before that goes away so that's the end of that uh three kilometer nam runs out of range it doesn't have doesn't have thursday yet so we're gonna have to look at a lower resolution look at the nam for thursday afternoon and evening so we have this cluster of showers in early afternoon on thursday and if i go back to uh, take a look at the uh, European model again. We're going to move this ahead to Thursday just to see what it's doing. We see where all the warm temperatures are down here. This is th Thursday afternoon. Up here in the interior, it's still pretty, uh, it's still a lot cooler. And because of that, your dew points aren't going to be quite as high. So I don't think you're really with, uh, dealing with too much in the way of severe potential in these areas. But when you get down in these areas where the temperatures are 70 or better, uh, in these areas right here. This is where your severe potential, I think, is going to be uh, with straight line winds as it looks right now. Of course, this can change. We're updated each day as we move forward to this. But this has just showers here at uh, at 2 o'clock. It goes ahead three hours to the next time block. And you can see a line of storms developing here from northwest New Jersey, far eastern Poconos, through the Lehigh Valley, down through Reading, Lancaster. Uh, and this moves eastward and uh, wants to move through here in the early evening hours. Again, that would may uh, maybe cause some problems for the second half of the Phillies game for the home opener. So we'll, if that timing stays the same, and it's going to move around too. Timing's going to move around a little bit too. Getting a ton of questions about the Phillies game. Uh, just wait. I, I don't have the exact answer yet, but I'm giving you a general idea right now that there could be, be prepared, there could be a delay during that game. But it does look like a quick line of storms, but this could have a little bit of kick to it with some gusty winds. If there's any potential for this one, it is not tornadic. This is not a tornado situation. Uh, with this setup here on Thursday, this would just be straight line winds, which could be very damaging too, but not a tornado uh, setup for this one in particular. And then that goes off the coast here after that point. So we're going to continue to follow the Thursday deal because that is uh, of utmost concern right now. Uh, I don't want to say concern, but uh, you know there is this SBC didn't even at the time this video was recorded didn't even have an outlook out for Thursday, uh, but they may introduce that after the fact after I upload the video when it's the next day and you'll say well now they have a slight risk it's possible but i think those areas i circled are probably the best chance just because they're of the highest temperatures and dew points to tap into a little bit more instability and some of the model soundings at the extended range stuff that we're looking at is still looking at uh you know some severe potential there so we'll continue to follow that throughout the week and then after that we turn cooler Friday and Saturday. Uh, temperatures in the uh, mid to upper 50s both days, uh, maybe near 60 down by Philadelphia. But Friday, Saturday are dry, partly cloudy, and breezy on Friday with some cold air advection related wind gusts that are going to be again in the 15 to 25 plus range here uh, during the day on Friday. And then Saturday, the winds calm down. We'll go to mostly sunny skies, but still remaining chilly. And then Sunday, high pressure is going to move off the coast here to our right. And you can see that right here, big H off the coast. That's going to get a return flow back in here for Sunday and Monday with temperatures well back into the 60s again, middle 60s thereabout uh, for both uh, Sunday and Monday. Mostly sunny here on Sunday and partly cloudy on Tuesday ahead of the next system coming in, which will be kind of toward the middle of next week. I'm BPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for April 4th, 2023. Have a great Tuesday.